here, welcome back to Indie Brew. Today we are looking at Australian Foreign Policy Simulator 2014. So it's kind of an RTS where we are supposed to protect our pie. So we need one of these bases, which will be the way we attack. We need one of these farms, which is how we continue to make money. And we need the church, which will allow us to convert new people and we will then start firing. So it's kind of like missile defense meets an RTS, but it's also very light is a good way of putting it. Maybe perhaps a little derogatory. There's not a whole lot of controls. There's not a whole lot of strategy. Get more men by converting them, etc., etc. Stop them from taking your pies. You make more pies with farms. And prisons, which we haven't built yet, will help you incarcerate, uh, incarcerate enemies. Uh, we will actually let this little guy go through because that's actually how we'll be able to make more people so we'll just kind of keep focusing on our guys people can't attack when they're hungry or if they need church not really sure how that works but it's a video game so maybe i don't have to it's really good to aim not for the shots but in front of the sh of, of the ships and you can see there on the left that is one of our guys trying to convert those people and our shores will quickly get overrun so now we have another builder which i'm going to build another base so we have some more things to fire and we do want to you know make sure that we don't have too many people coming after us we'll probably build some more farms i think it's a cool game i like it it's it's silly the music is fun it's everything that you'd want I like the attack animations, I think those are pretty good. And they're of course trying to steal our pies. Direct hit, which is nice. Let's get him. Big ships take three. Let's see if we can do another farm. Anything so that we don't have the, the fear of, of being overrun. The little ships are really, really hard to hit. Okay, awesome. And we will do another church. That way we can keep the conversion going. There's no tutorial, which I think is, is, is kind of a negative, because it's very simplistic as a game. Although I think you you figure things out soon enough. We'll do another another base, because we don't really need blow that guy out of the water and have the more missiles the better right everyone likes explosions there you go it's it's a fun game i i don't know how deep it is but we'll we'll try to beat it because i haven't been able to do that just let him go and the controls are good i i don't think i've talked too much about the controls the controls are actually really really quite good and and clever and we're we're quickly being overrun here there we go and this is where a prison would actually have come in come in handy but uh, we're we're converting things fairly swiftly so if we can we get a hold of these guys it doesn't look like we can I will say it's difficult to to build. We should probably build another farm here. We only have a minute left though, and they're hungry. And it's tongue in cheek. I don't really know a whole lot about Australia's uh, foreign policy. I admit, it's obviously, quite clear that they're they're trying to uh, make a joke about it. However. Perhaps letting them get closer to the shore is not a bad idea. You swiftly run out of room. That's that's for sure. But we also have only 32, sec 32 seconds left. And it looks like we're actually running out of food, which is bad. As you'd imagine. But we only have 18 seconds left, and I'm curious to see what happens if we we succeed. 
Everyone's starving though, which is bad. A lot of workers, but I can't do anything with them because they're hungry. And we won! As always, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching.